in this video, I'm gonna make a big kite from these Wegmans bags. And how I'm gonna do that is I'll get some scissors and cut right above this line. And then I'll open the bag and then cut it in half to make a sheet of plastic. And then I'll take those plastic sheets together. Plastic sheets are like this. I'll take those together to make a big sheet and then I'll get a shape and cut along the sheet to make the shape of the kite and then I'll add some bamboo sticks to make um, the kite shape and then I'll cut out the excess plastic. So so here I have the bag. I'm just gonna cut right above this. Now, I can open the bag, so this is how you normally open the bag from the top. Now I can open the bottom to make this plastic cylinder. And now that I've made my big plastic sheet, now I can start making the other parts. So I'm just going to do that to a bunch of other sheets, and then I'll take them again. So now I've finished laying out the design. So this is the basic square of them that I'm gonna make the kite from. So before before I do the um, the real kite, I wanna show you this. I wanna show you this prototype of the kite before I do the real kite. So this is basically just 
a, a really bad version of the real kite. So I just attached, only using very little pieces of tape, attached the, this and only with one piece of tape. So this is just basically stretched tight. So they're only pieces of tape at the corners. And then I cut it in half right here. And then I retaped it to see how well I could like tape those squares together to make a big sheet. And how strong it'll be and how little air it'll get through. And I just taped it to the size there. So you don't really need any pieces of tape to, to really make it work. Because as you can see, this is very durable. See. You can shake it really hard and it won't do anything. So like here's a piece of plastic. You can like use it as like a kite. Oh no, it's blowing this away. As like a fan. So like here's my actual squares. You can see it blowing these things away. Whenever I turn it stops. And like see. It blows all this stuff. It's really strong. I'm doing it really fast and it's not breaking. So I would say that that's successful. And if the real kite works as well as that, then I think it would actually work. You can even see that it actually, like it drops slowly. See, even though look, there's barely, there's so much wood and there's barely even any plastic in the middle, it still like drops slowly. Like see, so, how I plan to do this is to get this, which is like a little um kite or something that I printed out. So I'm just gonna measure this along those um, sheets once they're taping together. And then I'm gonna mark the angles out and then make a straight line down from it. So then like I'm, I'm making an angle, say that this is the paper or the plastic sheets. I'm making an angle here and then I'll make like a ruler or something or tape measure. I'll make a straight line. Then I'll move this down to this angle and pretend that this isn't there. And I'll make another angle here. And then I'll just do the same with them. And I'll probably just um, measure the distance. I know that this is about a little bit sh shorter than half of this. So like this is double the size of this, but it's a little bit shorter than that. So I'll just make my kite about the same um, like dimensions and then I'll just make it a big cut basically. So that's how I'm gonna do it. So how I'm doing this to try to save tape is I tear the tape into strips like this. I tear it down. And then I use this strip to tape um, the overlapping layers together. So now I've taped this whole thing together. It's one big sheet. And now the next step is to get my um, cut out of the glider and trace it with marker to make the shape of the big glider. So now I'm drawing it. So I made the angle. This should be along that line on the floor. So this angle goes up to here. So right here you can see in the real picture, it has a line going through it. So this should be the line. So then that should be the triangle, the big triangle, if I draw a line through that. And then this line is parallel to the line on the floor. If you see, if I drew a line on the floor line, it would be the right angle, not a right angle, but the right angle to match this angle. So, so far it looks pretty good, I think, if I keep doing the same line. So now, I finished drawing it. So here is the marker. Um, I kind of made a mistake. I said it was the right angle to that, but that's actually, it was the kind of, it was a little bit off. So that was the right angle. And then I drew the half line. And also I kind of um, 
made it a little bit lopsided. You can see that's not really that accurate. So I'm gonna cut it out now, and then I'm gonna um, fold it in half along that line, and then I'm gonna cut off the extra parts and hopefully make it a better, um, more symmetrical version. And also, one another thing to say is that I could have made it bigger than this. I wanted to make a pretty big one, but I actually um, didn't really look at that closely, even though I kind of knew I could make it that bigger. I could have made it all the way down to here, and since this angle goes up, it would have gone up, and it would have probably been... I could make it a lot bigger than that, basically. I could have made it all the way down to there, and it probably would have been big enough to fit in this whole thing. But I don't want to make it, like, that big, like, too big that it can't even, like, fly or anything. So I'm just going to make it this big, which is probably too small by the time I cut it out, but... It's fine. Not really. It's not really that fine. Okay, so I cut it out. Here it is. In all its glory. No, something's tearing. No, 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 no. Don't do this to me. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, okay. Here it is. Here it is. Okay, in all its glory. This. Whoa, it's actually really good. Look, look at this. It just like slowly glides. Of course, I didn't add the bamboo things yet to it, but it's so good, okay. Now I have to fold this in half. And this video's already been being too long. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's like static electricity. Okay, well now I don't have to hold it. Because of static electricity. Anyway, now I'm going to fold it in half and then I can cut the excess off. So, um, now there's a hole. Sorry, that, there's a hole in this. Right here. And I have to patch up. So right where those scissors are at, that's where the hole's at. Here, wait, I'm just going to try you. So this is where the hole's at. Okay. So what I did is I tried to cut with another pair of scissors and it just tore the plastic basically. So I'm just going to patch this up. And then I'll put the bamboo things in. So that's the hole right there. So here it is. And this is the extra stuff that I put on and I patched it. This scissor is so good. Look at these scissors. Oh, that's so clean. But other ones, you can't even cut it. It just tears. Like, it, it was so annoying. And those were sharper than the best scissors that I had that I thought I had. Okay. Oh, it's so easy. Okay. So now this should be pretty symmetrical. I've lined everything up. Sorry, I've lined everything up. So... This should be symmetrical so that it can fly well, hopefully. There's some extra here that I'll cut off, but that's pretty much it for the base, for the hard part. Okay, so I cut off all the extra, I think. So it's, so it's this point now. Okay. I'm sorry for the long video. But in real life, like this actually took me like more than three hours to make what's well, taking me and it's gonna take even longer. So I don't get the supports in, so. Oh, stop, just, I just want to. Okay. <sighs> Hopefully this will be cut out. Because if it's, because if it's not, then it's my fault, so. It's my, it's your, it's my fault for letting you hear this if it's not cut out. That's just more work for me to do. <laughs> uh, now I can say whatever I want because you won't be hearing it anyway. And that even it forces me to cut out even more. And even though it's really long and I don't even care because now I know I'm pretty, uh, I have to cut it out. Otherwise it's going to be a really bad video. There's just random stuff happening like this. The more I say, the more likely I am to cut it out even though I don't want to. Okay. This is more work. Okay. The only reason I won't cut this out at this point is because um, the video was too large to be 
um, imported into the editor. So, actually, it actually is pretty likely to happen now that it's like 15 minutes long. So, oh, I'm just gonna pause the video instead of doing this. So, how I'm gonna add the, um, the support things on it, the struts or whatever you call it, is if you, if you look on this one, it's just, um, there, well, I drew over it with a marker, but there was one here and here, and then just one in the middle connected by that. So I could just try to follow the same design, except for with these. So I could just make um, the same concept. And I'm not even sure where, I'm not even sure where, um, like where the, the top of it's at at this point. It's, I don't even know where it's at, but it, it's basically this symmetrical. Because this is symmetrical, so that should check put in both ways, I mean. So, I'm just going to add... This looks more pointy, so I'm going to say that this, this is the top. And I'm going to add support. Well, that's way too close to the top, probably. But I'm going to add the support along the top like that. Like this. Like that. It's probably still too close. And how I'm going to do it is I'm going to wrap the tape around these two so that it's I'm hopefully going to be a pretty strong like hold so it won't be really weak. So now I've added these um like these struts or something all along the body. And also I've added the main one. I've added the main one right here along it so that it can be removed. So see. So that one, you, you can remove this and then collapse these. So, right now it's upside down. But if you look right here, you can see that this isn't, I, I taped a piece of tape so that it's not sticky right here, but this part sticks to here. So this is like loose in here. See, it's, it's not sticky. So I, I taped another piece of tape along it. So, And then I taped it here so that you can just kind of pull it out and you can collapse it. So if you see, this is pretty loose right here, so you can collapse it into a stick. So if you remove this, then you can slide it out. You can slide this out. Like this, you can slide it out and then collapse this down into a little stick thing like this. So it's a collapsible kite. And this kite, um, if you drop it, it's, it, um, it's not very heavy. You can see it kind of just like glides. And how it glides down. And it just glides down because it's pretty light. Can't really show you it because it's kind of big for the camera the video in this small room. But. Oh, oh I almost turned the video off. Okay. So now I'm going to add. Um, like a tail onto the kite. I think I might, and also I might add some another um thing right here, right across the body. I probably won't though, actually. Okay, but I know I'm gonna try to add like a tail onto the kite to make it like one of those ones that have like a really big tail that's really thick, so that it like looks really cool on it if it flies. If it flies. So here I have my other material that I made. I'm just gonna use that to attach onto it as a tail. So this is real quick with the tail of the plane. I'm gonna say what the kite looks like. And I just cut out another square to add, and there's a little bit extra that I'm gonna add on the end right here. Okay, so this is the finished kite. I added those stringers on the two sides of it. 
and then I added a big giant tail like I said in the middle and I added out of the middle a strut thing I forgot and I tied the string onto it I did a lot okay sorry okay and the string I can't really video anything okay please don't turn off the video I've been working in here all day, like actually the whole day. Okay. Okay, you can see, I can see in the mirror that you can see. Okay. So this is the finished kite. Here is the string that you can hold. I don't really know how to attach the string yet. I'm going to look um, on the things to make sure how to attach it. And yeah, I think it would actually fly, it's actually going to fly really well. Just look this and also one thing i can't fly it now because it also is dark because i worked on this all day at first it wasn't dark it was in the very morning but now it's dark it's also snowing or at least it was snowing i'm not sure what it is anymore because i've been working here all day i shovel the snow the only thing i've not been in here for it was to help shovel snow and to clean and then the, i was working here the whole day on this so it has a big, a big tail. It would be really cool when it flies. But I'm really excited to see how this work turns out. And I can't fly. I really, I really want to fly this. But just look, look it feels like a, a really, really kite. Like it feels like a normal kite, just a completely normal kite. Even though it's made from the things, from the bags, it feels really like normal. Like it feels like when you pull it in, it just drifts. But it feels really like, ah. And I was getting really excited because I finished the kite. But there's a string and stuff. And yeah, I'm going to kind of attach it. And oh yeah, so look. On my video, look, click my um the picture by my name, and then that will take you to my other videos, and then um look for the video that has a picture of something like that looks like this or the purple bags and the thumbnail, and then um scroll down through the playlist and you can find my other video if once I make the video of me flying this because I'm gonna make a video of me flying this, but I I can't make it right now because it's in the night, I'm not sure what time it is. Probably either like, might be like 7.30, but, or 8.30. I'm not really sure what time it is because I've been here for so long working. And I haven't looked at the time since it was like really early. And so I don't even really know what to say. I've actually worked here the whole day. And I'm going to fly this. So just look through, for, through my videos and see if you can find a beautiful kind of flying. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. So beautiful kind of flying. So now, um, I, I'm going to try to like drag it along maybe here. I'm going to try to like put this thing through this. Oh. Okay. Okay. So I made a loop right here. So now I should be able to try to fly it. And the video might shut off or something. I'm not sure. Okay. okay. I'm going to try to like, whoa. This is so weird. I don't know why it's so weird. I just don't like this. I don't know. 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 But I just imagine me flying it, okay? Because I can't really fly it, honestly, I'm sorry. Um, so, so I'm going to, that's the end of the video. I bet you enjoyed it, and um, I bet you were able to make the kite if you wanted to make it or something. So, and I have to end, I'm sorry. Okay, so if the video's 24 minutes long, that means that I wasn't able to edit out anything of the video because it was too long to edit into the, to, put in the editor. If it wasn't, then this would be probably edited out and um, and it wouldn't be 24 minutes long. So this is the end of the video. And um, I think that that's it. I think I said everything. Um, I think that's it. So bye. I'm probably forgetting something. Bye. If I'm forgetting something, I'll put it in the description. So bye.